everybody. How's everybody doing today? I hope you're doing great. I haven't been on here for a little while, but that's okay. I've been busy, busy, busy. We've been doing all kinds of stuff. Look at this hair. This hair, I've got to do something with my hair, kids. I don't like to fool with my hair on camera, but I'm telling you what, it is a hot mess. I'm trying to let it grow, but don't be surprised if you hop on here and it's all whack, whack, whacked off. <laughs> Um, what I wanted to do today, my name is Cherie, and welcome to the channel. Um, if you like these videos, subscribe and give me a thumbs up so I know. And um, I was going to do a quick review, and I think I've done one on this Bible before, and I don't know which video it is. <laughs> I tried to find it. People have been asking about this Bible, and uh, what it is is the Woman's Study Bible. And if you've watched for a while, you already know what I did. This white part right here, behind here, says the Woman's Study Bible. This white band right here was on the front of this Bible. Now, it had pretty floral designs on the front, but then they stuck that big white thing that said the Woman's Study Bible right here on the front. And I hated that. I didn't like that being on there like that. It does not look appealing at all. So, I covered it up. Not that this probably looks much better, but I put... Um, some uh, cardstock and some washi tape and some uh, plastic file folder holder things uh, over top of it and covered the front of it. But it is the um, it is the woman's study Bible. And I can get all my stuff out of here. I did this real quick. I wasn't even prepared. I've got stickers and things that people have sent me that's beautiful that I love, and I've got it in the front here. Um, but anyway, the woman's study Bible is what it's called. Here we go. The Woman's Study Bible. Okay. Now, I put stickers and stuff in mine. But when you see the Woman's Study Bible, it has a big white thing on the front of it. And it has some floral on it. Now, they have it in anything other than... They have it in other things besides just the hardcover. I got the hardcover. Okay. Let me... Uh, let me see if I can find... They might have had the I. It's called the New King James Version. Oh, here comes Oscar. Women's Study Bible Full Color Edition by Thomas Nelson. And hang on a minute. Okay, sorry about that. We bought a used table and chairs, just a small outfit for the front porch. And uh, he's been spray painting it for me, and I needed to help him out there for just a minute. I was looking for the I, what is it called, ISBN number or something? I'm not seeing it anywhere. I'm sure it's on there somewhere. But, um, anyway, let me, uh, it's the Woman's Study Bible, New King James Version. Um, just like this, okay. When you see it, it's going to have a big, uh, white thing on the front of it. You'll know that that's the one. Um, it just has different devotions in it and stuff. It has uh, pretty floral things throughout. It's very feminine. It's it's a very pretty Bible. Uh, it does commentaries. It does different things to explain the verses to you. Uh, it has study helps on the bottom. Um, it's just really a nice Bible. I think anybody that gets this Bible will be impressed with it. It has all kinds of information in it. Um, it tells you at the beginning of each book, you know, what the book, all the information about the book is. Um, you see that? So, I would recommend this book uh, to anybody. It is, uh, I try to keep things that people send me and put them places. I had that up here in my Bible and it fell down. <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, but anywho, let me see if I can find. Now, these Bible tabs I got off of, I believe, Etsy. I don't know who. I've had them a long time. Um, and if you watch some more of my videos, you'll probably find the one where the review of this Bible is. I couldn't find it real quick. I didn't really have time to look real hard for it. Um, it's got real pretty colorful maps in the back. Um, I just like this Bible a whole lot. 
I've got a few Bibles that I like a whole lot. Uh, this is one of them. This is one of them. And I could get it in leather or whatever, but I just don't want to. I like the way I've got this one fixed. It's kind of personalized now, and I just, uh, I just like it. I'm going to look one more time here in the front and see if I can find a number for this Bible. Since I've covered the front up, I know it might be a little hard to find, but if you look for that big white stamp on the front of the Bible, you'll know that it's the one. New King James Version, the Woman's Study Bible. Um, it's got a lot of floral things in it. Um, it's by Thomas Nelson. I'm just not seeing it. Sometimes they will give, uh, sometimes they got, you know, like the different forms that it comes in, but I'm just not seeing it, folks. I am blind as a bat, but I'm not seeing it. I really am not. Uh, I'm sorry. But it has all kinds of abbreviations. It has all kinds of little devotions. It is chalked full of information, so um, I would highly recommend this Bible. I wish they would have left the front as pretty as the back, but they didn't. Uh, another Bible that I like a lot, um, my one of my really good friends uh, got this Bible the other day, and I hope she's liking it. It's Everyday Matters Bible for Women. I've had this forever. It's the New Living Translation, and uh, I've got all different kinds of notes and different things in it. But it is very nice Bible. And this is paperback. And I mentioned to you all in a video not long ago, I put tape on the front because it was about to come apart on me. <laughs> but it's holding in there. I didn't plan on doing all these Bibles, but I'll, I will. I got this woman's study Bible. It is also New King James Version, but it is not the same as the one I just showed you in the beginning. Okay. Um, this one does not have the pretty colorful devotions and stuff like this. Heather Baxter had this Bible, and uh, I got me one. Um, like I said, I get these Bible tabs off of Etsy, so you can find different Bible tabs on there. Uh, I would tell you, when you look for them, make sure that they are Bible tabs that um, are front and back marked, and they just come off and you just stick them they're easy to put on i put on i don't know how many sets of these things on my bibles but this bible is a is a good bible also i've got different things in it i've got all different kinds of stuff uh, sticky notes information that i like all kinds of stuff all kinds of stuff um Uh, this one I like because this is an older Bible now, and uh, this one's copyrighted 1995. But it, uh, it the one thing I, I like a lot about this Bible. Let's see if I can get it. Hang on, Just crinkling up the pages. Let me see here. Let me hold it up here. Okay, let me just go through here a little bit. I put different things in here, washi tapes, I've highlighted, you know, it just depends on where I've been in the Bible is what I've got marked in here. I've got a lot of notes, but I don't know where they all are in, in particular, <laughs> but I do have notes in here, and um, just make sure your uh, Bible tabs and stuff are um, sticky on both sides, and they just kind of go across the page, not just one side of the page, but on both sides. It seems like they, they make it you know, last better. And then another thing is, don't make the mistake of sticking two pages together. <laughs> because once you stick those on, it's hard to get them off. And I've done that. I've told you that before. I've done I've done that number before where I've stuck two pages together. Because <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm all that in a bag of chips, not. <laughs> but uh, anyway, there's just all kinds of different stuff in here. But this is another good women's study Bible. I like it a whole lot. 
Uh, it's got room on the sides to write. It's not a journaling Bible, but it does have room on the sides to write. And I like that about, that's one of the reasons I got it too, was that I liked all that room that you can have, you know, to write and everything. But I've got all different kinds of stuff written in here. I like this Bible a lot. It is the New King James Version. And I like the New King James, and I like the NLT. Those are my favorites. Those are my favorites. Um, the NIV is okay. The HCSB, I don't know what it is about that translation. It gives me the willies. I don't know what it is. <laughs> no. I don't know why I do that for. I don't know why I think make a big deal out of anything. Well, it's not really making a big deal, but I just some things just irk me, I guess. So, now this is a good study Bible. It's a ladies' edition, the Expositor, Expositor's Study Bible. And it's a good study Bible. I do not have this one marked up hardly at all. But I'll tell you one of the things I like about this Bible is as it is giving you your verses and stuff in black, the ones in red explain what that verse is saying. So uh, kind of helps you out in understanding it because this is the King James Version. Okay. But it is the women's edition and it does have study helps in it. Uh, this would be if you're a real serious Bible reader, maybe, or something, or you're just starting out, even just starting out reading the Bible. If you've got King James and you're not going to understand it very good at first, this would be a good Bible for that because it helps explain it along the way. Uh, I have another Bible here. I'm, I'm just going through these. I don't know. Um, I didn't plan on doing all these Bibles. I'm just going to sit around here. This is my other new, uh, new Living Translation that I like real well. It's like a slim line, uh, but I've got different stuff in it. Um, I do use this one a pretty good bit. Sometimes these pages turn yellow, um, which I don't like that real good. But I've got one Bible, the pages are so white. I just, I don't know, maybe I'm just used to the old pages in <laughs> some of these Bibles I've had for a while. But, uh, I do put washi tape in them and stuff, and I'm, I make notes and all kinds of good stuff in here, and stick notes in it, and stickers, and bookmarks, and all different kinds of stuff. The New Testament gets more marked up than the Old Testament, seem like, because that's what I'm in more than I am the others. Um, but anyway, there's that one. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to keep y'all like this. I had not planned on doing all these reviews, but once I got started, I couldn't stop, I guess. Okay, now. My mom and dad's coming over in a minute, and I know... There's Gizmo! There is Gizmo! He's got to make his appearance, don't you, Giz? I just gave him a bath a few minutes ago. What are you doing? What are you doing? He loves this orange pig, and it doesn't oink. He's got a yellow one that oinks. Y'all have seen it before. He, uh, he, uh, he don't like to play with the yellow one. He likes the orange one. It don't squeak, but they're real soft, and he can squeeze it real easy. Okay, my last Bible, since I've got it sitting here, I will show you. This is the Life Application New Living Translation, and I've got some stickers and things on it. People send me stickers and things, and I just have to decorate with them. I just have to. And I just uh, put things on here and personalize it. Um, I do all different kinds of stuff with my Bibles. Uh, I make it my own. This one is the one. I don't think I can turn this down anymore, but I think it'll fall with me. Let me see something here. Hang on a second. Let me try that. Okay. Um, if I prop this up a little bit higher. Um, anyway. I've got different things marked. This is where I tried painting with watercolor. <laughs> but I have got all different kinds of stuff in here. I love my stickers. I love my 3D stickers. And oh, by the way, thank you all for the happy mail I've been getting. I went to my post office box the other day for the first time. And I had about three different uh, things in there. A couple of cards and a big present and... Uh, all kinds of stuff. My friend Anna on here, she hooked me up good, Betty. <laughs> and I'm loving it all, too. Loving it all. I've got the pot holders and all that stuff out in my kitchen. and 
I just really appreciated her. She's so sweet. And we messenger chatted on messenger and video chatted. And that was fun. I got to talk to her face to face. And that was good. Um, these I've just went through on the introduction pages mainly. And I have done a little bit of watercolor here and there. Not much on the words. Uh, I like to be able to see the words. But I, uh, I do stickers and things like that. And I did do some painting. Um, there was a beautiful flower I did. <laughs> I'm joking. I know. I'm no artist. <laughs> but I tell you, it is kind of relaxing, though. I do like doing it. It's really relaxing. A little bit relaxing. Now, when I start caring about really bad what it looks like and stuff, then it starts getting stressful. <laughs> so, <laughs> But um, I really like doing stuff in my Bible. It makes it personable. Uh, one of my churches here, uh, my church actually that I belong to, uh, I don't go to it that often. It's not in my town, but that's an excuse. I could go, I guess. Um, but anywho, they're having a Beth Moore simulcast next next Saturday, I believe it is. And uh, I've been wanting to go to that. I've been wanting to go to one of those. They don't do those conferences here uh like they do in big cities. So, um, anyway, that's the closest I'll probably ever come to going to one. But I wanted to uh, try to go to that one. It's at that church. And I was wondering, I'm putting so much thought into what Bible should I take and what notebook should I carry and what if I take this pencil bag and use it kind of like my purse too so I don't have so much stuff with me and all this stuff. I, uh, let me get that because you know who will find that piece of paper and that'll be it. <laughs> there it is. Um, but anyway, I've been wanting to go to that, so I don't know if I'm going or not. I've been anxiety myself to death over it, worried about every little thing, and that's not what you're supposed to do. You're not going there to do things like that. You're going there to learn that, I don't know, I did. It's all in my head, I know. It's, there's nothing wrong with the church. It's a lovely church. Wonderful people. Do you know how it is? You let Satan work in your mind saying, you know, this and that. You know, those people are too good for you. And those people are going to look down on you. And blah, blah, blah. Because you're not all that and rich and everything. Well, you know what? So, neither does anybody else, really. Not around here, anyway. And they might look like they're rich, but they probably got bills out the yin-yang. <laughs> You know, whatever. It's not. I don't care about anybody else. I have to worry about Cherie, and that's a lesson in itself, right there. We need to quit worrying about what everybody else thinks and do what's good for you. And um, because you know, we only live once. And I seen on Facebook the other day. You know, worry about your own self and worry about your sins. You know, because I think when you get to heaven, God's not going to ask you about my stuff that I do. He's going to ask you about the stuff you do. You know, so. And the same, he's not going to ask me about stuff you did. He's going to wonder what the world I was doing. So, we just have to take it uh, one day at a time and do the best we can. Um, but I hope you all are having a good day. I'll try to get back on here as soon as I can. And um, just keep doing your scripture writing, your Bible reading, whatever it is that you like to do. And I'll try to get back on here as soon as I can. Thank you all for watching. And I'll try to get some rest and get back into the swing of things here one of these days. But thank you so much, and you have a great day. Remember to live, love, laugh, and laugh some more because laughter's the best medicine. And we'll see you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.